I am Anil Kumar and this video is for my student who wants to understand how to find tan of cos or sine inverse of negative things, right? So I have taken two examples to explain the whole concept. We need to find exact value of tan cos inverse minus 1 over 3 and tan sine inverse minus 2 over 3. So you learn how to deal with all these three functions as a whole. So let's begin by understanding what is inside term cos inverse minus 1 over 3. So that is the first part we'll look into, right? And then we'll move on. So we have cos inverse of minus 1 over 3. Let this be equal to y, okay? So in that case, minus 1 over 3 will be equals to cos y, correct? How do I represent this? Let me show it with the help of a triangle. Right, so that's the coordinate plane. And we know cos inverse is valid within the interval. So this cos inverse, we are only talking about cos inverse, okay? This is in valid in the interval from 0 to pi, right? From, from 0 to pi. So in this interval, it is valid in this interval. Correct. Now, since cos y is minus 1 over 3, then we can make a triangle here, actually speaking. Uh, I should have drawn this line a bit on this side. Okay, so I'll redraw. I'll change the scale, okay? So, uh, we'll just move on to this side because negative, so we have to go minus this side. So, let's say this is our axis, okay? So forget about this, okay. Now, when I say cos y is minus 1 over 3, minus 1 is the adjacent side, right? This is your minus 1, and 3 is hypotenuse. So let's make a triangle which can show you. So that triangle helps, right? So this is, this is minus 1, and then hypotenuse is 3 where the angle y is is this angle correct so this is your angle y so i hope the picture is very clear right so this point here uh, will be uh, we have to find this height correct so this height will be uh, let me calculate this let us say this point is oh this is p and let's say this is this is let's say a okay then p a will be equals to square root of 3 square minus minus 1 square which is square root of 9 minus 1 which is square root of 8 right square root of 8 you could write as 2 square root 2 4 times 2 and you could write this as as equal to 2 square root 2 right so I'll write this height as 2 square root 2 perfect so that is cos y correct so we have our triangle and now we know tan cos inverse of all this all this could be written as y right so so let's get back to the expression so this expression itself could now be written as tan of y correct tan of y the same angle the same triangle so from this triangle, you can read what tan of y is, right? Tan is opposite over adjacent, correct? So you get 2 square root 2 over minus 1, correct? Which is minus 2 square root 2. So our answer is that tan cos inverse of minus 1 over 3 is equals to minus 2 square root 2 right so I hope you understood the concept right so that is how you should be doing it let's take up with sign also and then we'll uh, I hope the whole concept will be clear so when you are working with sign inverse in that case what is the kind of domain you're looking for we are looking for uh, okay let me write down here uh, Okay, so we say sine inverse of minus 2 over 3, let it be equals to y. So we get sine y 
is equal to minus 2 over 3. Now in this part we are actually working when x is between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 right so we are actually looking in these two quadrants so when I say sine y is minus 2 over 3 in that case we know that the two sides which is opposite opposite is 2 and which is minus 2 and hypotenuse is 3 so the triangle form will be kind of like this okay in which minus 2 is this point right so this is minus 2 going downwards that's the whole idea right so this is minus 2 so that is the triangle which you should be looking for and why is this angle negative because we are going clockwise so clockwise angles are treated as negative correct so what you need to find is now the adjacent side this is what you need to find since tan is ratio of opposite to adjacent so we could use Pythagorean theorem to find this right so what is this equal to adjacent side uh, let me call this as a so a is equals to square root of hypotenuse squared minus minus 2 square correct and that gives you square root of 9 minus 4 uh, which is equals to square root of 5 so a is square root of 5 for us correct now let's get back to the question itself okay so we could write tan of sine inverse of minus 2 or 3 as tan of y since y is sine inverse of minus 2 over 3 right does it make sense to you i hope it does right and now we know tan is opposite over adjacent that is minus 2 over a or minus 2 over square root 5 do you see that so once you create your diagram like this once you visualize it correctly then you can read your answer that's the whole idea so this is equals to minus 2 over square root 5 right so I hope the concept is clear so construct your diagrams as per the restrictions of inverse functions right and then it should not be very difficult so that's the whole idea I'm Anil Kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best